CTV's Paul Bliss is next with developments in the Ontario College strike. Paul, this is about students and the effect the strike is having on their bank accounts. That's right, Zoraida. It's crunch time for students. Even if the strike is resolved soon, it looks like the semester will be extended. That, of course, affects students in terms of the food and the money they're spending on travel plans for the holidays that likely have to be cancelled. But the provincial government says it has a plan. Queen's Park is telling Ontario's 24 colleges they can't save money on wages from the 12,000 striking teachers. The minister in charge has ordered them to put the cash into a dedicated fund. It will be used to support students who experience financial hardships because of the strike, to pay for unexpected costs like additional rent or having to cancel long-standing travel plans. I mean, there is somewhat of a worry in that we've sort of paid for something already and now we're not getting what we pay for because they kind of already have our money. For international students, the costs are even more painful. Uh, we cannot go to school, we have nothing to do, and we waste money every day. And it's really hard for us to go through these days. With 12,000 teachers off the job, the colleges are potentially saving millions of dollars. But the government gives no detail as to how students will collect the money and who will be eligible. Colleges are now revealing how the strike is changing schedules, extending the semester, cutting into Christmas vacation, possibly March break, and even extending the year itself. My expectation would be that colleges will work with student organizations to, uh, to see what they can do to help students through this, this transition. So you can finish your course, but it's not about finishing our course, it's about like the time which we are just doing nothing and you know that there could, have, there could have been like so much we've done like when the college starts we have no clue like how long is it going to take and how the work is going to be rushed. Advanced Education Minister Deb Matthews says she will work with students and colleges starting immediately to develop parameters to the fund. Translation, the government doesn't know how it's going to work but it's trying to convince students it's got their backs. A vote on the latest contract offer takes place next week. Union executives are telling members to vote no. The Premier acknowledges students are feeling stress, half a million of them. The strike is now four weeks old. Live at Queen's Park, I'm Paul Bliss. Ken, send it back to you.